Hare Krishna devotees, today we will start with chapter number 2 of Bhagavad Gita, of Theoretical Bhagavad Gita. I hope you remember chapter number 1 and also what I said in the last video. If you have not, not watched that, make sure that you watch it first before starting today's video. Now, let's start with today's video and before starting, as I said in the earlier video, make sure that you gain the attitude of Arjuna to understand the Bhagavad Gita perfectly. Most of you guys might not have been able to gain the attitude. So, I want you to pause this video and imagine the situation of Arjuna, his sorrow, his grief, when you have a mentor or guide like Sri Krishna, and but you have to kill your own family members to gain a kingdom back. Okay, I hope you have been you have gained the attitude and if you have not as well, don't worry, we will try to understand through the attitude itself in the chapter ahead. So let's see what Shri Krishna is saying after the after listening to Arjuna. Oh Arjuna, how have you developed such an attachment in this moment of crisis? It is inappropriate for a noble person, for it will neither bring you glory nor will it lead you to heaven. This means that Shri Krishna says to Arjuna that why we have been attached to your family members who you want to kill in the battlefield. See, as a Kshatriya, Arjun has to kill anyone who comes in front of the battlefield against his army and, you know, himself. So, you should not attach yourself to these family members or your enemies. Instead, you should detach themselves and you should continue to do your work. But then Arjuna again shares his grief and then he says, O oh Govinda, I will not fight and become silent. And so, he decides that he will not fight against his own family members. Now, let's see what Shri Krishna is saying. Shri Krishna says that, Arjun, you are a wise man. This means you understand what's needed to be done and what's not de needed to be done. And, but you are being sad for those who are not, wo not worth being sad. This means you should not be sad for these people because they don't, have a, they don't have stopped yet to fight against you. So, why are you stopping to fight against them? You you are a wise man, but this time you are not. Uh, you should not be sad for those who are not worth it. You, as a wise man, you should be neither sad for the dead or for the living. You should do your work and should not worry about those who are living or those who are dead. You should just continue your work. So here, Sri Krishna just says that you should not be attached with your enemies who are though your family members and as a wise man, as a kshatriya and as a wise man, you should not be sad for those you are killing, for those who are dead and nor for the living. You should detach yourself and continue to do your work as the Lord says or as Sri Krishna says. He also says that there was never a time in the past when I, you or these things did not exist. And this means that they, all of them have already existed before this janma. This means that this janma ke pehle, wo log pehle hi is dharti par janma chukke hai aur aage bhi hone wale. This means their soul, jo, unki jo aath, aathma hai, wo pehle bhi is dharti par janam chukki hai aur aage bhi kabhi na kabhi janam ne wali hai. Every soul experiences childhood, youth and old age through this body and it will experience the same when it takes another body after the death of the first body. And hence, a wise man should not get affected by this. This means that a soul is the first childhood, young, youth and old age experience karti hai ye body ke through. Then when the body is bad, the soul is body se nikal ke dusre body mein jati and continues to do the same thing. And hence, a wise man should not get affected by this as he, he or she should understand that this soul is just going through this phase of life, this phase of this body and soon it has to die and go to another body and adapt another body. Here, Arjun, uh, Shri Krishna is also saying to Arjun that heat, cold, pleasure, pain, all of these things are experienced by our senses and what or uh, this life we are living through our body. This means, whatever we are facing, your pain, your pleasures, heat, cold, happiness, sorrow, all of these are experienced by our body through our senses. Right? And they have a beginning. They will start during when you are in a body. They, they have to be there and they will also end at a time. So you should not be affected by them and hence you have to bear them or you have to Bear them bravely. 
right so once once your soul is in the body the the body and your soul have to experience heat cold pleasure pain sorrow happiness which are experienced through our senses and our body they have every time you take you adapt a body these things have to be there they are they are going to be there and so they they are going to be there and they will end also at a period of time so you have to bear them and we have to fight them because it it is there and you cannot avoid them so o puru purushar shabha this is another name of arjun meaning the superior among men so he says the wise who remains unaffected by circumstances and accepts pleasures and pain with equanimity is worthy of immortality this means as i said that pleasure cold heat and pain sorrow happiness all of these are going to be there in uh, are going to be experienced through senses and our body by every soul when they adopt a body so the person who accepts these pleasures and pains and understand they are that they are going to be happening in this phase of eternal life by our soul through this body and senses is worth of immortality this means this means that you have to accept ki ye sab hone hi wala hai and i have to bear and fight against it so kyunki hum ab ek body mein hai aur ye jo body hai ye sab cheezon ko experience karne hi wali hai so isko ये बोलने से यार मेरे साथ ऐसा क्यों होता है इससे इस इसे इस एटीट्यूड से जीने से कुछ भी नहीं होने वाला बिकॉज यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट इट कि ये होने ही वाला है सो so, आपके साथ नहीं हर किसी के साथ होता है बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ देम आर ऑल ऑफ दी सोल्स आर अडाप्ट आर अडोप्टिंग अ बॉडी hence as a wise man you should accept this pains and pleasures have faith on shri krishna मतलब यू यू आपको ये ध्यान रखना चाहिए कि ये सब जो है दे आर जस्ट पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ दिस इटर्नल लाइफ लाइफ इज योर इटर्नल लाइफ द लाइफ ऑफ योर सोल इज वेरी लार्ज एंड योर सोल इज ए मोटल इट इज इटर्नल दिस मीन्स दिस इज अ वेरी स्मॉल फेज ऑफ योर सोल एंड इन एवरी दिस फेज ऑफ योर सोल द पेन्स प्लेजर्स ऑल ऑफ दीज आर गोइंग टू हैपन सो जस्ट एक्सेप्ट दैम एंड कंटिन्यू टू लिव द विद दैम एंड gain a habit to live with them because you have to these are going to be there with you every time so just have a faith on shri krishna and move ahead so at times in in so let's now we're going to talk about this phase of life when your soul attains your certain body and right now you should understand that you are in a body right you you i'm talking about you your your soul you yourself is in a body and this part when your soul is in the body your body and your soul are going to experience many things so you have to accept these things and continue to move ahead with faith with shri krishna in bhagavad gita we're going to understand the same thing how to live with your soul in your body with your pleasures pains happiness and sorrows and when you do all of these things in your life your life is your soul the life of your soul is going to be great i'm not talking about this life your life ahead your life the life of your soul so let's talk about how you can live this life with your body perfectly now let's come deeper to the concept to understand how to live your life this life with your body so the first thing that you have to understand that there must first thing you understood is that you have to accept this pleasures and pains because they are going to be there every time with you through this life and even in the lives ahead second thing you have to here understand is the that untruth does not have a permanent existence that sometimes you may feel ki main to sahi kiya to fir mujhe kyun punishment mil rahi hai so you should understand that this untruth jo satya nahi hai jo galat hai use hamesha wo wo hamesha uska jo sach hai wo samne aane wala hai because untruth does not have a permanent existence There is no death or death of truth. यानी जो सच है वो कभी मरेगा नहीं So you don't believe कि यार आ, मैंने सही किया तो भी मुझे पनिशमेंट मिल रही है जो सच है आपका कभी ना कभी सामने आएगा ही और जो गलत है वो उसको कभी ना कभी उसकी पनिशमेंट मिलेगी It's not your work to give punishment to uh, or to decide or to decide basically what is wrong or what is right. Your job is to understand what is right and what is wrong. And hence, a wise person has to realize that which thing is right, which is which is truth, and what is untruth. So. that's yeah so that's what we learned here that untruth first thing we learned is that we have to accept this pleasures and pains because this is a phase of our life like i under i hope you understood it properly and second thing we learned that don't worry about the truth and untruth because this is managed this is an universal truth that untruth is does not have a permanent existence and truth is always going to be show up, shown up in some ways or another so just realize what is truth or what is untruth and go to the parts of 
ट्रुथ यानी आपको सत्य के साथ चलना है और आपको ये समझ में आना चाहिए कि विच इज़ राइट एंड विच इज़ रॉन्ग और ये कैसे समझ में आएगा दैट वी विल लर्न इन भगवत गीता हेड सो बेसिकली आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस मिच सो गाइज यू वी गो विथ टूडे इज़ वीडियो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड टूडे इज़ वीडियो द थिंग अबाउट प्लेजर्स एंड पेन्स एंड हाउ यू हाउ यू शुड लाइक द फैक्ट दैट यू शुड रियलाइज वट इज़ राइट एंड वट इज़ रॉन्ग एंड देन मूव अफ हेड विथ वॉट इज़ राइट ना हाउ टू रियलाइज इज दैट वी विल लर्न इन द भगवत गीता हेड सो दैट्स इज वीडियो ऑल अबाउट गाइज थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग आई विल सी इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो एंड टिल दिन कीप वॉचिंग भगवत गीता की प्रीडिंग भगवत गीता एंड या वी विल स्टार्ट विद द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर नंबर टू इन दी नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल दिन बाय बाय एंड हरी कृष्णा